Now let's say you have to print or save an image of this specific part you see on the screen. It is very simple. Just go to file, export and you can export the image into a PNG or a JPEG format. If it is a drawing, you can export that drawing into a PDF format as well. Saving the part files. Saving the part file is as simple as it is in any Word or PowerPoint application. All you have to do is click on the file, save and you get different options over here. Save, save work part only, save as, save all. Now there is a difference between all these four different types of saves. The first one will save anything that you see on the screen, it will directly save onto your computer. The save work part only will save only the part that you are working on currently. Let's say you have an assembly of six different parts. In that part, you activate one specific part and do some changes in that part. With the second save work, work part only, you will be able to save that specific part only. Save as will save the part with a different name and save all will save the entire assembly with a different name on your computer. Now to close a part, it's very easy. All you have to do is click on this icon over here and it will close the part. If you click on the X that is above this icon, it will close the entire NX application. If you have to close all the parts that are open in NX, all you have to do is go to file, close, and select all parts. It will close all the current parts that are available on your window. To exit an NX session is very easy. Just click on this button over here. Now NX interface. NX interface is very easy. The main thing that you would be working on is this toolbar over here. This is called as a ribbon. A ribbon has different types of commands that are very easy to access. So the first one you see home. In that home you will see different types of the applications that we can do in NX11. We are going to learn most of these applications over here while creating the 3D model of the parts of the butterfly. After home, you have an analysis button where you can measure distance, measure angle, you can measure a simple angle, etc. In the application tab, you can switch between modeling, drafting and assemblies. There are a variety of applications available in NX11. This manufacturing, you can also do surfacing, etc. In the surface, we can actually create surfaces of the body. Surfacing is mostly used in designing cars or aeroplanes where you need a nice surface that's curved in various different angles. Curve tab is used to add any type of curves into our model. Render is basically how you want to view the part. And then the rest of the part, basically if you want to export some of that in this specific model as an Excel, you can export this into a spreadsheet. Mouse functionality. Mouse functionality of NX is quite easy. If you click on the leftmost button on the mouse, you will be able to select an area. So click on the leftmost button of the mouse and drag it all the way across your part. You will be able to select the entire part. Let's say you have to zoom in. If you have to zoom in, just use the scroller on the mouse. This way you can zoom in and zoom out just by using the roller or the scroller of the mouse. If you want to pan the part, make sure you click the roller and the rightmost button together and you will be able to pan the part. If you want to rotate the part, just click the roller and you will be able to rotate the part as you like. 